Hey, good morning, ham friends, shortwave listeners, and shut-ins. K0PIR here with a, another short video. I had a question from a subscriber. He asked, how do you use LOTW with MacLogger DX? And I thought that'd make a nice quick video. Hey, if you haven't already, click on that subscribe button below. And if you want to be notified when I put out a new video, ring that bell. You also ought to see some ham radio sweatshirts or t-shirts or mugs below the video. That's on my ham radio t-shirt shop. It's Ham Tees by K0PIR. If you'd like to support this channel, head over there and pick out one of those sweatshirts or t-shirts or mugs. Okay, I've got the advertising out of the way. Let's set this up. First thing I'm going to do is go over to TQSL. Okay, I got TQSL open. What you want to do is go over to Station Locations and have a look at the one that you want to use. I'm down in Coleman, Alabama, so I would select that one when I enter it in the MacLogger DX configuration. So uh, I got Coleman already there, but if you don't have one or you, you're changing locations, just click on Create a New Station Location. Uh, fill out this information, click next, give it a nice short name, simple one that you can remember, and click finish. I've already got one that I'm using, so I hit cancel. Now let's go over to MacLogger DX and select preferences. Go over to the, let's see, what is it, the lookup tab. And you got a bunch in here to set up, but this is the one we're looking for, LOTW. And then type in the station location that you have in TQSL. And again, remember if you put in all lowercase or not, or you got the first letter capitalized. Then put in your web username and web password. And this is used if you want to download confirmations. This would be the credentials that you use to log into the website, the ARRL LOTW website. So put that in. I'm going to close the preferences. And let me show you how to use it. I've got one in here, uh, Bob from the RV Service Net. I haven't uploaded him, and uh, that is, I can tell that because it's black. The red ones I've uploaded, the green ones I have a confirmation from, and I'm going to select this one, go up to log, and then upload selected QSOs to a LOTW. And when I click on this, you'll see the status show up real quick. Uh, right here uploading and then it says uploaded to LOTW and it turns red that's the color coding according to MacLogger DX the default color coding and I'll put a screen capture up of that on my web page uh, go to k0pir.us and I'll have a post on this and I'll have a few other screen captures and uh, that about does it so again, uh, uh, if you haven't already, go over to my t-shirt shop, find a design that you like, or uh, click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell if you want to be notified when I put out a new video. I appreciate all the comments I get, and uh, any questions, just please make them below, and I'll do the best I can to answer them. Okay, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends. 73 and good DX.